In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use something called the avalanche method to quickly find 20, 50, 100, even 1,000 keywords for a brand new website or a website that's breaking into a completely different topic than you've covered before. First, this is part of a series of keyword research methodologies that we're going over one by one. And like I said, this one's called the avalanche method, which actually comes from this article that is, uh, explains the whole thing. I'll include a link in the description of this video. But essentially, here's the gist of it. You find very low competition, very low volume, meaning that there aren't a whole lot of people searching for these, but they do have some volume each month, but they are super, super low competition. If you write 20, 50, or 100 of these articles, then what's gonna happen is your site is going to be seen as more of an authority for these, and then that snow starts to fall down the mountain and you start picking up authority faster and faster, and you can tackle more difficult keywords down the road. The reason we like this methodology is it's perfect for content at scale because we allow you to pump out a lot of decent quality content around a whole bunch of keywords really, really quickly. The thing is, you need the keywords, which is why we are sharing this methodology with you today. Without any further explanation, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this avalanche keyword method using hrefs. First thing, we need a root keyword. The root keyword I'm going to go with today is a very, very broad keyword, which is baseball. So all I did was enter in baseball in the keyword explorer of hrefs. And like I said, you can use this with similar tools like SEMrush, but I'm just going to hit search. Now you can see this is a very difficult keyword, but over here I can click on matching terms, which is going to give me a whole bunch of keywords. When I say a whole bunch, I mean nearly 3 million keywords with a total of 37 million monthly search volume. That's quite a bit. We obviously are we're never going to rank for baseball. Uh, we're probably not going to rank for baseball scores anytime soon. Even something difficult for a brand new site like Tennessee Baseball or, or something like that is going to be pretty difficult to rank for. And you probably don't even want to anyway because it's too broad of a term. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the filters to get this list down to something more manageable and for keywords that we want and for keywords that you can actually rank for pretty quick. So first things first, we're going to go to KD. That means keyword difficulty. And I'm going to do something a little counterintuitive. I'm going to set the max not to 10 or to 20 that you might have heard other people do. I'm just going to set the max to 1. That means the only keywords that are going to come up are difficulty 0 or difficulty 1. And then I'm going to do the volume. The minimum is going to be 10 because I want it to have a little bit of search volume, but we don't need much. Then I'm going to add word count, which I want the minimum to be three. Obviously, baseball is one word. Baseball scores is two words. Yahoo Fantasy Baseball, that's at least three words. That's going to get into some terms that we might be able to rank for down the road. So I'm just going to click show results. As you can see here, 48,795 keywords came up with a total search volume of 4.7 million per month. That's still quite a bit. Plus, look at the keywords. Adidas baseball cleats. If you sell cleats, this is a great keyword, but it's also, if I click on it here, and I will, it says it's a difficulty of one, but look at these top sites. Adidas, Dick's Sporting Goods, Adidas, EastBay.com. All of these sites have an incredible rank, except for this, this one right here, BaseballSavings.com. That's an anomaly. Uh, they definitely only have five backlinks. They must have some really great content. It's probably worth checking out their site. However, we're not looking for sites with 10K volume. What we're going to do is we're going to limit the search even further. We're going to niche down even further, further to find content that is underserved, meaning there aren't a whole lot of results uh, in or Google that come up for these search terms. So there might only be a thousand sites or a couple thousand sites or maybe even less than 10. So that way you can really easily write the best content using Content at Scale's AI Writer. So here's how we're gonna filter it down even further. We're going to choose to include certain words. Now, it's, see how it says all words here? You wanna click any word because it can have any one of these words, not all of them in conjunction. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna ask questions. And we all learn these from a very young age. It's who, what, where, when, and why. I also like to include is, good, versus, and vs. Ooh, versus and vs for versus. One keyword that you commonly see in here is that, that's not in this list is best. 
And that's because that's gonna do commercial keywords. And we're looking for informational keywords to show Google that you're trying to answer questions, uh, which builds trust. So I'm gonna hit apply. And then I'm going to hit show results. And look, it goes from 48,794 to 1,489 keywords. But look at these keywords. There's still some decent search volume, but it's what is NVR in baseball? What does lob mean in baseball? These have decent search volume. But what I want you to do is actually go a little bit more counterintuitive, one more step with me. And I want you to hit volume to where it brings up the lowest volume keywords. So like right here, what sport used home run before baseball? Who's ranking for that? Look at all these sites, 158 million in the, in the total rank. That site right there has zero domain rating, zero URL, and it's ranking. Uh, another zero, zero right here, it's ranking. Now its traffic potential is actually 40. And then we can find more like that. Hockey puck weight versus a baseball. Where to buy pine tar for baseball. This is a great one. And again, you're going to see a lot more low domain rating and low URL rating sites ranking for this. And the traffic potential for this one is actually 700. This entire page is full of these keywords. Uh, what is the uh, newest baseball game for Xbox 360? Obviously, the 360 is a little bit older. Now we're on to Xbox One. What did Babe Ruth keep under his baseball cap? That has a potential traffic of 450. Uh, that's the difference here. This is the volume of people who search for this particular term. This is the global volume, which means how many people search for this across the globe. And this is the TP or traffic potential for this article, depending on how well you write it for that particular term. And there are 30 pages of these keywords that go all the way back up to those highest search results. Remember, this was at the top. Uh, what does PO mean in baseball? So essentially, you have an entire list that we filtered out from however many millions of keywords from the start. But now you have 1,489 keywords uh, to choose from. And it's not going to take you very long to find 20, 50, 100, or even 1,000 out of this 1,500 to write. But what do you do once you find these keywords? Well, we would hope that you would create a list of them and actually easily input them into Content at Scale's AI writing tool and have it write them for you complete drafts in just a few minutes. And I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. Okay, so I'm in the back end of Content at Scale's AI writing tool, and I've created a project just titled Baseball. I've already added four of those keywords from the search that you saw me do a moment ago. And all I'm going to do is add that last fifth keyword that I'm going to do before I actually have our AI writing tool run these or actually write the full drafts. So I'm just going to click on Add Content. I'm going to paste the keyword, which is what variables can affect attendance at a baseball game. And then I'm going to click Add Content. And now it is added to the end here. I'm just going to select all of these, and I'm going to hit Prepare. And as you can see, it now says five keywords have been added. Check back in a few minutes. And what I'm going to do now is pause the video. It should only take about five minutes for these to complete. But then I'll come back and actually show you what an article looks like when it comes back fresh from our AI writer. I have taken five of the keywords that we found using the avalanche method and I have put them into Content at Scale's AI writing tool. As you can see here, I've already ran them and they are completely ready for me to review and to get ready for publish. So each of these articles, I have not touched them. I have not added any characters to our editor. I have not removed them. This is exactly what I saw when I opened these articles. So the first one I'm going to look at is what variables can affect attendance at a baseball game? I click into it. Okay, now this is what the content at scale editor looks like. Uh, up here in the top, you see what variables can affect attendance at a baseball game. That is the title. And of course, that's also the slug. And that's also the keyword in this case. And then the AI has come up with a meta description as well. Right here, we actually pull in several royalty-free image sites, so you can click, and then you can choose whatever feature image you would like uh, to go into your blog post. Now, if you are a scaling or agency user of Content at Scale, 
we have a direct integration with WordPress, which means that as you add this feature image here, it's gonna add that feature image into your website. As you update this meta description here, it's going to update the meta description in WordPress and so forth and so on. Now, as we move a little bit further here, you'll see these metrics, words, paragraphs, headings, and media. This number right here is the number of words in the article. Now this range right here, these are the range of words within the top ranking content. So the average article has between 764 and 844 words. Ours has 1164. That gives you a little bit of room to work with, but you can also leave it longer to create a better piece of content that covers the subject even better. This is the number of paragraphs. Content at scale is uh, naturally um, uses spacing. So we make sure that there's no more than three sentences in a paragraph, and we actually like to use a lot of spacing uh, to keep people engaged in the content as they read down. Now right here is media. So this would be images within the actual content itself. It doesn't count the feature image. So this would be images that you would use or uh, GIFs and, and things of that nature. Now further on the right, you can actually see these uh, tabs here. And right here is typically it's a list of keywords, but this, this keyword is so specific that there aren't any other uh, natural language processing and semantic keywords that our AI has picked up on. So it just gave the main keyword and it says it's usually in the articles between five and 17 times. And in this article, it's in there four times. Below that, you will see our on-page SEO checklist. So it talks about the title being the optimal length, whether the meta includes the primary keyword. Uh, you might wanna increase the meta on this one, which you can do by clicking uh, this edit button right here. And then you can actually change that text. Uh, the URL includes the primary keyword and so forth and so on. Uh, so this is actually going to be uh, optimizing your post for SEO before you get it published. So now let's take a look at the content itself. Like I said, I have not added or taken away anything. Uh, and what we have here is a very short, pithy intro, which gets right at the content. And then we have this automatically generated table of contents. Like I said, we do integrate with WordPress. So if you have WordPress, this is going to show up within your post. And if it does, then the readers are going to be able to click into sections that they want to see. It'll automatically scroll down to that section. And that actually shows Google a lot more engagement and it makes it an overall uh, more helpful article to the reader. So you can see the table of contents, all the sections here, and it just gets right into what affects attendance, uh, ticket prices, weather, uh, the day of the week the game is played, start time, promotions, uh, and then it also at the bottom, uh, most of our articles will include a frequently asked questions section uh, in which uh, it, it asks the common questions like what factors could affect attendance, why is uh, MLB attendance low, how is MLB attendance calculated, etc. Uh, so then it, it includes a conclusion as well as a uh, extra or a link, excuse me, a call to action link to your website, whatever you would put in when you set up your project. So this is just one of them. And if I go back to the project, I can go into another one. Um, why do baseball players eat seeds, for instance? So again, another pithy intro. I have not touched this. Uh, it talks about the history of baseball players eating seed, um, why, uh, nutritional benefits, the types of seeds, how to incorporate more seeds into your diet. Uh, and so this is, a, this is a thing. You could leave this in here, or you could say, okay, this isn't really relevant to the question, perhaps. So you can look up here and notice that you have more words than you need. So you could actually come down here, um, how to incorporate more seeds in your diet. You could actually potentially just take this in entirely out. Or you could you know, just say, uh, want to be more like your favorite baseball players, add that in. And then there you go. Uh, you, can, you can add that in right there. Uh, and then of course, uh, you can select the feature image. Uh, and these are also searchable. So if you don't like any of these, you can type in seeds and you can find maybe sunflower seeds. And then there you go. Uh, so I can use that as a featured image right there and then it will update into the content. Uh, and then of course, um, yeah, so this is this is what it looks like. And if you have already signed up for a content at scale beta plan, 
uh, then you can use this keyword research method that we've discussed today to find 20, 50, 100, or even more keywords using the avalanche method. Uh, or if you have not signed up for a beta, I encourage you to go to uh, content at scale.ai forward slash beta and get signed up today. Thank you.